Why is the stability of the universal treasure of the High One rooster so strong and not guarded? Let's take a look at the machine today. Take a look at what black technology is used in this universal treasure. Now what everyone sees is an interior of the high school master. Now let's zoom in a little closer. Let's talk about it from the back to the front. First of all, this place is a governor. It's a rotational speed adjustment. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and then this is a pin for it. The prongs here are very detailed. Did some sealing. This is the control board. It is a horizontal transverse position on top of the machine. Before, everyone knew that it was above the prongs of the machine. Look further up, a switch is a push-up switch. A conduction is carried out by the hanging piece above. We see it like this. Here's how a push is made. It's very easy to replace this switch further forward. Is its heart and brain, dedicated to the electronic motor and its mechanical drive system. We saw this place. This place is actually a glue. An action with a cushioning that is, there are many universal treasures, and its shock power is very large. It's because of its construction and its glue, ergonomics aren't done well enough. So it's very shocking to use very hemp. Take it out. This is a shock resistant power in front of this motor. It puts this cushioned leather in a place where the swing power is more in front of it. The place ahead, you know, that inside is an eccentric shaft layer. The eccentric axis makes a side to side swing. This gives a very large shock force to the forward transmission. Now let's take apart a mechanical structure in front of us and take a look at it. Now the screws have been unscrewed. Here we have talked about the structure of the talent treasure before. It's almost identical. The front one is an eccentric axial layer. The time to turn up is not to turn straight. It's a swing from side to side. Let's plug it in the battery now for everyone to see. In this way, you should be able to see it a little more clearly. Do you see it? Take a look. It is a swing around the bushing when it swings up. Do you see this fork? Do you shake it left or right and touch it with its coat? Therefore, a lot of butter lubrication will cause some of the wear and tear of the machinery to be delayed. In the case of swaying from side to side, the front will not move and it will swing left and right and under high frequency vibration it will be equipped with a universal blade and then cut or polished almost 99% of the universal treasures are in this structure. In fact there is not much difference in structure it's just some of the design on the outside its shape and it's one that is shock resistant and one lagging used you can decide how vibrating the machine will be and that's how it actually works. And then there's how lightweight it's because the machine has an aluminum casing and a plastic one at the back so it is relatively lightweight if it is said that it is a whole machine.